go past the velvet robes and straight into the VIP with HK with HK 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 doing it to it in the mix. We are backstage with none other than 21 Pilots, Tyler and Josh. Guys, it's so good to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah. Fantastic. You know, I have to say before we get into some questions from our fans that this of all days is the best day for me to be hanging out with you because of two reasons. Yeah. First of all, Ride is the summer song of 2016. Yeah. How great is that, right? Thank you. Sean Ross usually edits that column. Yeah, yeah, Sean. I saw that yes. this morning and I was like, that's too perfect. And then I also saw it, it might have been announced yesterday, but I didn't see it to today. Big news number two, Blurry Face, the album has sold officially over one million. You guys have got your first platinum album. It's true. It feels great. Yeah, yeah. This has been this has been a crazy year. Let's let's yeah. let's talk about Blurry Face. All right. Now you know that entered the chart 62 weeks ago. It debuted number one on the Billboard 200, and it has stayed in the top 40 ever since. I'm curious. Did you ever think it was going to cross over? Did you know that when when you worked on it? I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, it it wasn't something that we were kind of like sitting in the studio or even listening to it after it was done and thinking. This is a, this is like, I don't know. I, I think it was something that we kind of like created thinking that we love and, you know, maybe like some kind of weird people like us might love as well. Um, and it's kind of, it's kind of like, and, and I think the weird people like us have resonated with it a lot, but then it's kind of like gone beyond that a little bit um, in a way that's interesting uh, to, to and the cool to the super weird people. The super weird. The super weird, <laughs> yeah. the super yeah. weird people are the ones yeah. that, that got it all the way to the top. So all the way to the top. That's a great goal in life, though, right? You appear, uh, uh, appeal to the weird people, and then get to the super weird people, yeah. right? That's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. You know, uh, I'm curious. What's your favorite track on the album? Do you have one? That's a tough one. Uh, there, there is a difference between favorite song to play and favorite song to listen to. Um, and my favorite to play is all of them. And my favorite to listen to is all of them. Uh, I, 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 I like, uh, I like playing the judge a lot. That's a, that's a really like fun song for me, kind of on the drums. Um, I always like listening to Lane Boy. How about you, Tyler? Uh, I like playing Lane Boy and I like, uh, I like listening to... Um, the judge. <laughs> you know, you guys have been around for a while. Uh, you know, we all know that this is this is the year. It's just insane. You know, this has been this is the crossover album. These this has been the crossover singles. But you guys have been doing this for a while. Uh, what's what's it been like this year? Like for your family and friends? You know, just just you know, it, everyone always asks. You know, the artists. You know, you know. Well, what's it like? You know, now that you guys have you know cracked through the ceiling. But I'm I'm curious. I always like to hear sometimes. How has it affected in any way your family and friends' perspective of you this year? Mm. I think uh, our friends and family has kind of really kept us level-headed. You know, we, we're surrounded by friends on the road that have been with us for a while, um, and our family is um, – uh, we're always seeing them as much as we can. And they, they all kind of, like, very supportive, but at the same time not afraid to be like, you're not that great, you know? <laughs> so it keeps us level-headed, and we're really um, – we're really glad that we have a group of people like that around us. Um, and, you know, you get the, you know, the occasional someone recognizes, like, our parents, which is weird for them to be recognized for, you know, in public for having a certain type of kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a weird feeling. So, um, but uh, my dad has a, a, a good amount of, or both, your mom has a lot of followers on Twitter, too. So, mm. yeah, they've got their own empire going on. Yeah, yeah. They're just gonna branch off, and they should do a, they should do their own band. <laughs> <laughs> we need to come up with a name for that band. And there's an it, there's an interesting uh, story that I've heard, and I'm not I'm, sh I'm I'm sure not all of our listeners have heard it, but I have heard you guys tell the story about uh, how you came up with Twenty One Pilots. Can you can you give me that uh, real quick? Yeah. So I was uh, I was I was taking a theater class in college. And uh, the, the play that I was studying at the time was called All My Sons by Arthur Miller. And quick plot line, uh, the main character was 
creating airplane parts for the current war. So he had a factory that was in charge of certain parts. He found out that those parts were faulty, and he had a decision to make. Does he send those parts out, collect the money, continue to feed his family and make a living, or does he do the right thing and recall the parts? Um, he was pressured to actually send them out, and 21 pilots died because he did that. He later found out that his son, who was a pilot in the war, um, also died. They weren't able to correlate those two stories, but when his daughter found out that his her father had sent those parts out, she ultimately blamed him for her brother's death. And the, the play ends very tragically. Um, Arthur Miller play, right? Yeah, and yeah. so uh, so the way that we kind of like took that lesson and applied it to us as individuals and as a band is you know, we're constantly faced with these decisions. There's left and there's right, and there's the there's the right decision, and then there's the wrong decision. And a lot of times the wrong decision can get you to that success faster or make money quicker or um, you, you kind of sacrifice who you are to, to get to where you think you want to go, and ultimately it's the wrong decision. I can't tell you how many times we've looked at certain contracts or deals or just c- certain routes we knew was the wrong decision um, and if we went about it the right way, it might just take us a little longer to get there, but it was worth it. So the band name is a constant reminder of that. I think that's such an awesome story. That's such an awesome story. It's, it's, it talks about your moral compass and, and, and a lot more. It's very, very, very cool. Hey, you know, your concerts, by the way, I can't wait to see the show. I have not seen you guys live before. And your concerts are, from what I hear and what I've seen from clips on, uh, online, very exciting and, and theatrical. Where did the concept for the live performances come from? Well, I think it really, a lot of it kind of stemmed from us, one, realizing that we kind of needed to do something a little bit different or kind of like a little exciting to to kind of rise above the local scene even. And, and so, you know, just kind of like trying to think of, of stuff that we would want to see at a show. Um, and then some of it was like going to shows and realizing that, uh, there was a lot of stuff that happened or even uh, stuff that was said in between shows or a lot of th- things that people did that uh, that we didn't really love <laughs> and that we we, we kind of look at each other and be like I would do this different or I would I would uh, I would kind of treat this situation a little bit differently and uh, when you put yourself in the perspective of uh, somebody in the audience right. um, that can really change the way that you uh, are on stage the way that you project yourself from being on stage and I think that that helped us uh, a bunch um, so our, our goal was to always kind of also just being two of us we wanted to kind of be as energetic as we possibly can knowing that we don't have like the normal like four or five guys that other bands have yeah. uh, so we always felt like we were kind of in the negative to begin with so we were just like let's try and put on as much of a show as we, as we possibly can yeah. yeah fantastic you want to add anything to that Tyler? Yeah, I mean... Uh, Give you the opportunity to weigh in here? Uh, <laughs> I've never seen one of our shows either. <coughs> uh, but... Josh, it's a very different perspective from the audience than it is from the stage. It is. It is yeah. very different. Uh, but Josh brings up a good point. You know, we were always thinking about that crowd. You know, if we were in that crowd, what, um, what we would want to see. And uh, I think even from a very, very be- the beginning, uh, at a local level we um, were pretty fearless. You know, an idea that we had, even though it seemed crazy, we just we just went for it. And we didn't care if it, you know, a lot of times it failed. And I'm glad that we played small rooms and played at a lo- local level and didn't get shot up into playing arenas very quickly like some acts do because um, we were able to figure out who we were and what yeah. worked and what didn't and, and what we wanted to make our live show look like. So, and, and now we're ready for it. Fantastic. Got to ask you before we go, Heathens, the track dropped June 16th. Of course, it's on the Suicide Squad movie soundtrack. Can't wait for that to to come out and hit the screens. What was it like writing that song versus writing a song for your album? Because you knew going into it, this was going to be for a movie, right? Uh, Yeah, it's, I guess, uh, we'd never, we'd never like done anything for uh, something other than an album before or something other than something that was like, not really dictated by what it is that exactly what we wanted to do. So I think it was like, yeah, that was kind of interesting. But at the same time, I think that we, we sort of just went about it uh, as if we were writing a song for, for our album. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I think luckily that kind of happened to fit the vibe of the movie and what they kind of wanted. But at the end of the day, if it didn't, then we would have just kept it for our own, for you know, for our next album or whatever. 
There you go. We got to run. Let these guys hit the stage. 21 Pilots in the mix with HK. If you haven't downloaded the album Blurry Face by now, what are you waiting for? Get out and download it. Thanks, fellas. Thank you. Thanks. You just got mixed, shaken, and stirred by HK. This is so